Michael Phelps weighs in on transgender swimmer Leah Thomas. Watch this. I mean, look, like I, I'll say, you know, I, I can talk from a standpoint of, of doping. Um, you know, I, I don't think I've competed in a clean field in my entire career. Um, so, you know, I, I, I think this leads back to the organizing committees again, um, because it has to be a level playing field. I think that's something that, that we all need. Um, because it's it like that's what sports are, uh, and and for me, um, I I don't know where this is going to go. I don't know um, what's going to happen. Um, I, I believe that we all should feel comfortable with who we are in our own skin. Um, but I think sports should all be played at an even playing field. I don't, I don't. Swimming legend Michael Phelps has given his opinion on the participation of transgender athlete Leah Thomas in the NCAA event. Thomas has been the subject of widespread controversy since setting a number of records for the University of Pennsylvania last year. The 22-year-old, who began to transition in May of 2019, meets the eligibility standards set by the NCAA for women's swimming events, but this has not stopped a deluge of criticism about her participation. The topic of transgender athletes in sports is a much discussed one in the United States, particularly after nine states, including Texas and Florida, recently decided to ban transgender athletes from competing in female sports at schools. The legislation, which applies to public school teams through high school, is part of a national campaign introduced by, guess who, Republicans in 32 states. They claim it is protecting fair competition, but equal rights activists have argued there is no evidence that trans women and girls are dominating sports. Um, I just have two words for Michael Phelps, media coach. He should be able to answer this sentence with grace and just come off with saying something that is supportive of the trans community and also identify that, yes, you do not know enough about this to talk about it. Please indulge me of a bit more. Um, the level playing field here has already been decided. The NCAA and the Olympic Committee says absolutely she should be competing. They've already decided the level playing field. Michael Phelps shouldn't uh, weigh in. Second, he compares drug use in his sport mm. when he was competing of drugs and steroids to gender identity. Uh, Mr. Phelps, you're going to come back and look at your words and just horribly regret what you're saying. Not because you feel one way or another, but because you sound ignorant. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're going to come away with. And finally, you're going to so regret this because I am told by production here that he was kind of ambushed by the reporter in this report. Um, I echo Jeff's sentiment of having a media coach. You are one of the most famous sports heroes in American history. You should be completely capable and dare I say man enough to simply go, I don't know enough on this subject to comment on it. And that's what you should have done. You think Michael Phelps was high? He looked kind of high to me. He looked like he had just rolled a big fat blunt and smoked it. Just my thoughts. Wait, does he smoke pot? Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, listening to Phelps talk sounds like the pot had calling the kettle stones. <laughs> LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ.